Hello, my name's Adrian Richards. I'm a plastic and cosmetic surgeon and the surgical director of Aurora Clinics. In this short video, I'm going to be talking you through some aspects of facial aging and how the face ages. Now, this is a very famous uh, photograph. I think uh, this uh, lady probably on the uh, left, as you look at it, probably looks in her early 60s, whereas the lady on the right probably looks in her early 80s. So 20 years age difference between them. Now, the reason this, fact, this photograph is famous is these were identical sisters who were both went to work in a country house um, in their youth, um, and this uh, lady on the uh, left uh, worked all the, uh, all the time in the uh, kitchen, whereas the sister on the right worked in the garden. So you can see the volume change is not too different, gravity change is not too different, but what makes the 20 years difference uh, in the appearance between the two ladies? sun damage and this could have all been prevented by sunblock which unfortunately wasn't around in those uh, those days so skin damage really very important for uh, facial aging gravity is also important generally reversed with um, uh, anti-gravity procedures such as uh, surgery active lines are uh, uh, really treated generally with uh, botox um, because the muscles underlying muscles cause the uh, uh, lines and volume loss is caught, is treated with volume restoration either with hyaluronic acid fillers or generally fat. Now this uh, uh, lady probably looks in her early 40s. She's an uh, attractive lady. Why is she in her early 40s? Well she's got some uh, lines here um, and you only get those in uh, really from your 40s onwards due to muscle contraction. Some fine lines here but she's got good uh, uh, cheek volume so all that puts her down as uh, about 40 and she's got very good um, skin quality. This is her at about 55, so 10 years later. She's got more developed lines in the glabellar area between the eyebrows and the forehead, slightly heavier eyelids, more lines here, and also, interestingly, a movement of uh, a tissue to the lower part of her face, so she's become slightly wider in the lower part of the face. So here we are at um, early 40s, um, you know, more of a triangular face, and here we are moving forward to uh, early 50s, more volume in the lower part of the face. Moving um, uh, on, so then we had 40s, uh, early 50s, and then we've got uh, early 60s. So again, the main difference between 55 and 65 is volume loss. So we can see we've got a lot of volume loss, particularly around the lower part of the mouth, and further uh, widening of the lower part of the uh, face uh, with jowl formation. Um, and our priority really at this uh, stage would be revolumization of the lower part of the face, so to increase the volume uh, to get those uh, more uh, natural sort of youthful uh, contours. So uh, uh, here we are moving forward. So that I think would be uh, our priority um, uh, for this uh, lady. So that's uh, early 60s. So that's um, moving on early 60s and then moving here to uh, early uh, 70s. Uh, and the predominant uh, change is again, lots of volume loss, further deterioration in the skin, but potentially volume loss to the lower part of the uh, face. So uh, our priority, at this stage, it's probably more Botox to, to uh, just iron out some of those lines. And we're aiming to prevent the lines really performing. So Botox is probably priority there, perhaps some dermal fillers. Um, here, um, again, Botox, dermal fillers. But here, I think our priority would be dermal fillers or fat transfer. And again, skin treatments and dermal fillers. So uh, this lady on the right um, is a runner. She's uh, very fit and healthy with low body mass index. Um, she's uh, got these uh, deep lines here. She's asymmetrical if you notice. If you look at her eyelid here it's relatively short but her eyelid on this side, lower eyelid is much longer and she's got less volume on this side here compared to this side here. So a lot of people are asymmetrical and if we're doctors we've got to look very carefully for asymmetry and this lady probably sleeps on this side. Normally you sleep on the side you've got less volume on it and you're slightly older side. So this is her after uh, Restylane treatment which is a hyaluronic acid filler. We've re volumized uh, these uh, areas, uh, decreased her uh, nasolabial folds. She's still asymmetrical, so that eyelid is still different from that eyelid, but she's uh, fuller. And I think 
the question is, does she look younger? I don't think she particularly looks younger, but she looks fitter. Um, you know, if you'd seen her and she'd gone, uh, hadn't seen her for a, a month or so, you'd probably be hard pressed to say exactly what's better about her. Uh, but uh, she looks uh, healthier, fitter, uh, almost as if she's gone on a very good holiday or you know had a, a good rest. So the idea of these uh, filler treatments is not necessarily to change the way you look, but just to make you look healthier, fitter, and uh, uh, livelier. So thanks very much for watching the video. For more information, please go to our website, Aurora Clinics. Um, we're a, uh, a, a cosmetic and plastic surgical um, company in the UK. We only employ really the best uh, plastic surgeons and nurses, in my opinion anyway. And we've got a lot of specialists in each area. So please, if you are considering plastic surgery or, or a cosmetic surgery in the UK, look us up. Cosmetic Courses is our training arm. We're the biggest provider of training for doctors, dentists and nurses in uh, Botox and non-surgical treatments in the UK. So if um, you'd either like to be a model for us, we're always looking out for models, or you um, I think you might like uh, training. If you're a medical professional, please look us up. And please also have a listen to a cosmetic course podcast, which is on iTunes, uh, which uh, gives you uh, regular updates on what's happening in the uh, cosmetic industry in the UK. So again, thanks very much for listening. I do appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in person. Uh, if uh, you have ever uh, considered plastic surgery, or please have a look at some of our websites. Again, thanks for watching.